still looks fucking terrified and like he's gonna shit his pants. I'm sure he was probably much more shy before, but he still you, looks you, like, you know, despite all the fucking overcompensating in the gym, he looks fucking terrified. <laughs> What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today we're gonna look at the sellout piece of shit, okay, otherwise known as More Plates, More Dates, who went on the Objective Scammers podcast, okay, the two guys that fake everything, scam the shit out of everyone, pretending to be real experts, with the whole smoke and mirrors facade, okay, fresh and fit, been exposed literally millions of times. <laughs> Not quite, but almost. And more plates, more dates thought, well, you know, more eyeballs on my content, spread the word, I'll just have to look past the fact that they're mega scammer pieces of shit, okay? You know who else looked past that fact? Owen Cook. You know who else? Jay Waller, Sterling Cooper, okay? Even the Tate brothers were willing to make a buck and sacrifice their integrity to go on those piece of shits show. So in this video, we're gonna be reacting to more plates, more dates, most productive ways to get girls. Before we get into that, we're offering the best program in the industry hands down. We have a proof page with a link in the description where there are literally hundreds of testimonials, lots of guys sleeping with one to two new girls per week on my eight week program, putting one new rotation girl on per week and packing their schedule full of dates by week two or three. Okay, get on a free 30 minute call with the link in the description and you can ask all your questions about what that program entails and find out all the details. Okay, we train you on online game, bar and club game, daytime game, how to text, how to message on the online apps, how to run your dates, how to close your dates, and how to retain and keep the girls around that you want. Okay, so get on one of those free 30 minute calls. All right, let's jump into this reaction and hear a guy that knows a lot about lifting give his opinion on dating. Okay, this should be nice and fun for everyone here. What's up guys? So I just added in this part you're about to see here at the last second, okay? Showing how More Plates, More Dates is selling a supplement that is basically fucking bogus, okay? So we're gonna listen to that little clip before we jump into the main video about More Plates, More Dates going on fresh and fit and selling out like a fucking fake bitch, okay? So here we go into this little clip. So now, what happened is this. There is a, uh, a company called Nootropics Depot Okay, and they're a supplement maker themselves and looks like the guy runs his own lab and he put a video up showing the lab that he has and that he runs. Now, he went and took a Gorilla Mind and uh, Greg Doucette. So Gorilla Mind, I guess, is fucking more plates, more dates product. Perk product. And along with some other products, again, I'm not going to go over that with that video to make it too confusing. So to begin with, there's three different usually main uh, tests that are used in supplements to decide how pure they are or how good they are, okay? And he took an HP machine and tested Derek's product and Greg's. And it turns out, in testing... Here we go, okay? There's only 0.44 milligrams per capsule. The label claims 500 milligrams, okay? So there's not even one milligram, okay? Uh... So the 10% terkesterone extract should deliver 50 milligrams of terkesterone itself, okay? That means that less than 1% of the label claim is actually in the supplement, okay? 111 less times than the label claims. And the study shows how it was calculated in the lab work. So Derek from More Plates, More Dates is selling a bullshit fucking supplement that contains 111 less times than what is advertised on the label, okay? You guys see why he went on a fresh and fit now? Because he's already a fucking scammer piece of shit. Derek's product came out 111%, I believe, less than what the label shows. Meaning, it's basically bunk, according to his test. So 99% of it is not turkesterone. It there you go. 99% of his fucking supplement is not what it's claimed to be. Okay, now let's jump into the video with more plates, more dates, going on the mega objective scammers known as Fresh and Fit and see what his views about getting women are. So girls, Derek, what's your thoughts on the current dating marketplace, AKA the sexual marketplace? Uh, I'll just let you take it away, man. Uh, I've always been under the impression, I think I probably made a video about it years ago, about how 90% 
or 10 percent of guys get like 90 percent of the chicks i feel like that percentage is uh I don't know, probably still representative. Like, obviously, you will see random guys here. It's like, how did that guy get that chick? And, you know, there's always, you know, an explanation for it in general. Sometimes a guy gets lucky, but I think that in general, you know, the more, not necessarily like crutches, but the more kind of attributes you have checked off on your bucket, on your list of, you know, things that make you a desirable partner, the better, because you're setting yourself apart from everyone else. So, and you're going to have your pick, I don't know, of whoever not whoever you want but you know your your options open up dramatically the more things you have going for you relative to the next guy and right. it's created like a very disproportionately it's not unfair because that's just kind of like how the world works now but a very disproportionate dating environment for sure okay that was very ambiguous you didn't give any of the criteria for what will make you a desirable mate for the record i've been coaching this for over 13 years now i've had lots of clients that look average that don't have much money, okay, that are not the best shape, that absolutely demolish with chicks. And I have plenty of other clients that came to me good looking or came to me in shape or in shape and good looking or in shape and good looking with a bunch of money. Okay, we just had a guy join my week program that's jacked. He's six foot five, okay, he looks cool and he's a virgin. You know why? Because all that stuff doesn't magically teach you how to run interactions. You know, all that stuff, getting money or getting strong in the gym, doesn't teach you how to text properly or how to run your dates. I say this stuff every video, but the sad truth is that these guys never touch on is that just going hard at fitness or just going hard at business or both is not a substitute for learning proper strategy and tactics. And the girls aren't just going to come raining down after that. I agree hundred percent, man. I mean, I, I, you know, I definitely agree that a minority of the men are, are definitely banging a, a majority of the girls. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, there are those anomalies where you might see a guy with a fucking hot ass girl and you're like, how the fuck did he land that? But again, like you said, there's typically an explanation. Nine out of ten times that guy just kept chasing her and she just said, OK, you know what? I'll fucking I'll give you a chance. Wrong. Not this time. No, that's not it at all. It's all about how a guy carries himself, the confidence he portrays, the value he possesses and brings to the table. OK, does he have a backbone? Does he stand up for himself, et cetera, et cetera? The way you carry yourself and not being a pussy goes a long way. It transcends your looks and your fitness and your money in the bank. We just did an interview with Bradley, Bradley Martin and we spoke about how can guys actually have a chance in the dating market and the only possible way now is to self-improve. Like <laughs> The only possible way to have a chance in the dating market is to self-improve. Okay, write that down. Said by the pseudo expert who was recently working at Wix.com, known as Walter Weeks, who's posing next to jets and cars that are not his and wearing bullshit CEO necklaces and shirts. Okay, make sure you check on the end screen. I fucking tear these guys up. We'll put the links to both videos. Walter Weeks, Fresh Prince CEO Exposed, and also Myron Gaines, okay, who, who makes up the other side of this fit supposedly duo and myron's not even a real fitness expert okay he was in brandon carter's high ticket mentorship program and he's like oh i guess i'll do fitness and he goes on record saying he had like no fitness experience prior to like you know not that long ago these guys are not experts whatsoever and it, it's total bullshit statements again that are being made here you must self-improve that's the only way to get girls i can't count the amount of clients thousands that have come to me that went hardcore down the self-improvement path and came up short with women. It's not a golden ticket to get a bunch of girls, despite what all these dumbasses tell you. It, going and getting strong and going and getting a bunch of money is going to leave you a lonely, strong, rich guy. It's not going to teach you all the dynamics of how to properly interact with women and move things through the process. So no, we're back to more shitty advice. Okay. More plates, more dates has always struck me as a fucking huge pussy anyways, the way he carries himself. Look, he looks fucking timid and terrified. Pretty much. Behind all the fucking rippling muscles yeah. options open up with the globalized marketplace yeah. so so you have some business partners that are in the space how did you get introduced to this side of the internet you know the manosphere red pill uh self-improvement type side yeah so when i was in high school i severely underperformed relative to what i thought i was capable of i was like a skinny twig introverted had no opportunities with girls because i just i just thought it was I don't know. I just like thought you would go to parties and shit would just get like handed to you on a silver platter and it just didn't work like that. You actually yeah. had to go out and talk to them, which was something I had no concept of at the time. So going into university, I was like very, I don't know, underachieving in my dating life to a point that I had essentially zero experience. And I started to, you know, 
naturally you start to look at stuff online as to like, what am I doing wrong? What should I be doing? Like, what's going on here? I think this guy used to be affiliated with a good looking loser. Let's hear the story here. How do I self improve? And I stumbled across Chris Diotis, good looking loser, his first pickup video ever in like 2011 or something. And I was like, holy shit. It was something I actually resonated with because he was like a bodybuilder, kind of like meathead type guy. And he didn't seem to be like overly strategic with the way he talked. He just went, threw himself into the fire and then would kind of see how the conversation went rather than prior to that, I had read The Game by Neil Strauss, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have if you you know started off similar to I, trying to learn about how the shit works and social dynamics and like, what do I say? What's the best opening line? And in 2010 or 2011, before I saw Chris's stuff, I was under the impression that if you just had like good game, then, and yeah, game's important, of course, but I thought if you just had like the perfect thing to say, it would equate to sex, which is like so dumb. But yeah. back then, the mystery method, you're taught that if you just say the right things, even if it's not your own story, you literally like memorized it from his fucking script that you would be able to go from like step one, which is like attraction stage one, yeah, to yeah, like yeah. fucking sexual intercourse stage three within seven hours. And yeah. you're like, oh, it's like a math equation. I just gotta yeah. like go in there and like solve the fucking puzzle and then I have sex. And yeah. that's not actually how it works. Yeah, it is how it works. Okay, The Mystery Method is an incredible book. Mystery is the guy I respect the most in this space by far. And I think he has the second best system to mine in the space for the record. Okay, still trying to get him on a collab. He's he's trying to lay low these days, I've heard. He's not trying to be thrust into the limelight again. But there is a sequential process to this. Okay, like I said, check out the proof link in the description. Literally hundreds of testimonials. No one's getting anywhere close, not even anywhere close to the results I'm getting for guys in this industry. Okay, we had a boot camp where there was eight students and seven of them pulled on one of the nights out of the eight. The only guy that didn't was an extreme hard case virgin. Um, but lots of the other guys, it was the first time they'd ever pulled. In a, in a night game scenario. We're having guys lose their virginity routinely on week one or two of the program. And we're churning out guys that are able to go on and get a full package stunner girlfriend that they thought was totally out of their league to have threesomes. Okay, where guys are having threesomes in like week two sometimes. Achieving what they never thought was possible. Okay, because there is a process and there is a sequential set of steps that you follow, okay, but it also, you have to react to what's going on. If this happens, you do that. If this happens, you do that. So Mystery wasn't right about everything, but he did give an extremely solid framework that has gotten tons of guys really good results. I built off all the best parts of his system, give him credit whenever I can for anything that I did expand upon or utilize, okay, in my own system. This is how you get late. It's not about going and fucking lifting weights all day in the gym. Okay, despite what these guys are going to tell you or putting up a bunch of fake press releases to fake clout so the girls think you're important when you're really not okay this is not how you get girls these guys don't know what the fuck they're talking about i'm glad it doesn't work that way too because it turns you into this robot who just knows how to regurgitate lines that aren't even yours like doing yeah. again you don't need to he's straw man arguing against the mystery method you don't need to use lines that aren't yours no you don't need to say dumb stupid shit no god please no okay i don't encourage guys to do that i don't train guys to do that but there is a sequence of how to move things forward and how to judge how things are going based on the compliance you're receiving and then you react accordingly doing dhv spikes that aren't even your own like story <laughs> so fucking nonsensical yeah so, but you can tell dhv stories which stands for demonstration of higher value of things that are going on in your life that you do bring to the table, because most guys do bring things to the table. For instance, Walter Weeks had a career at Wix.com. Okay, that's his star accomplishment. Okay, then he also went on to pretend to be a guru and, and host a Jerry Springer style drama kickout show. Okay, that's a very big accomplishment as well, in his eyes, I guess. There is a strategy and tactic to this. Get on one of those free 30 minute calls. Let us explain to you how it works. Okay, let's keep going through this. I Chris's stuff and he, he actually used to do pickup with like the guys from Neil Strauss's book. He would go, he lived in like a Beverly Hills pickup mansion and he would go out with like uh, RSD Tyler and um, I think Matador and like some of these guys that are from mm, like right. the, the top guys yep. and see what they- <laughs> RSD Tyler. Oh, you know, the top guys. Yeah, I think Tyler's more of one of the bottom guys. Okay, from, from some of the stuff we've been seeing recently. I've, I've actually never even seen him with a girl besides the CJ Sparks thing.
but uh, you know, from many different sources, alleging that could have been a, a situation where she was just on the payroll. Okay, so there's a lot of fucking closet shady shit going on with that motherfucker. Someone, someone told me he admitted uh, live that he's actually bisexual. Interesting. He couldn't relate to the peacocking, to the whole, make sure you talk to a girl over your shoulder. Like, don't, you know. Again, I don't teach that stuff either. I don't teach peacocking. I don't teach opening over your shoulder. I teach going straight in, talking to them, looking them straight in the eyes. Face her because you're, you know, d downplaying your value or whatever yeah, the fuck. Yeah, telegraphing too much interest. Yeah. yeah. So, so he basically just started, like, walking up to chicks and introducing himself and talking. And it worked much better for him. Keep in mind, Allende, who I interviewed, who's from Authentic Alphas, he noted that Myron is, he doesn't have any rotation. He hates women. Women hate him. And he has no friends. So that's Myron over here. They built this scam platform to fucking just occupy all their time. And I resonated with this stuff a lot because it seemed like even though you're going to crash and burn your first like 10 to 20 approaches or whatever, you actually develop communication skills, whereas with Mystery Method, you just get really good at memorizing shit. He's misinterpreting Mystery Method. It's not all about memorizing a bunch of lines and regurgitating a bunch of lines and pretending to be someone you're not, okay? There's, there's tons of room to freely express and freely talk in the conversation. He's a straw man arguing. I was like, oh, a guy who's like similar to me, he's like a bodybuilder dude. He had, you know, not that much success with chicks before or, you know, he had some success naturally, but it wasn't what he wanted. And just the way he went about it, I was like, oh, I can actually get on board with the method he's using, which was no method. It was just go up, talk and make it work. Even if you suck, just like make it work. What? That's a horrible approach. <laughs> All that's doing is forcing you to take action, okay? All the guys in RSD were being told to take massive action, and we all saw how that went, okay? For a decade, we had guys mass approaching, burning venues to the ground, metaphorically, okay, with approaching every single girl in the venue, trying their best to make it work, okay, with no strategy, and it crashed and burned over and over and over and over. That's like, well, you know, there was these really good poker and chess strategists out there, but uh, I really resonated with this guy who said, you know, just sit down at the, at the game and play, okay? Just play, don't have a strategy, don't have a method, okay? Let's not forget this is a skill game. Just sit there and play, okay? Maybe you'll crash and burn, lose a whole bunch of money, but eventually you'll win a little bit of money, okay? But overall, you're gonna lose, okay? I guess that's why he's the good looking loser. I watched a bunch of his stuff. I was like one of the first 10 people to join his online forum and basically just logged my like approach i don't know like i literally logged approaches for like a year or something where i would mm. go up to a chick and be like this is how it went like this yeah. happened i got the number i didn't get the number it turned into a date this turned and eventually like by the end of the log if you're actually doing it consistently and putting in effort you get to a point where you actually have a dating life whereas prior to that you had nothing and you nothing. didn't even you didn't even realize how the, the concept of walking to a, up to a chick you've never met and talking to her was revolutionary to me at the time because I yeah. assumed... Again, like the game and mystery method and the shitty PUAs were all tying everyone to approach, okay? So he's like acting like good looking loser, crack the code by telling you to just approach and don't have a strategy. That's horrible advice. <laughs> I've had, again, thousands of clients that have come to me over the years that have done fuck tons of approaches with no strategy and crashed and burned hard. Damn! In high school, everyone seemed to just get involved with friend circles, like friends of friends would get together. And yep. it was kind of like, it seemed like some sort of predetermined thing that you could only have happen if you were connected beforehand. And I was like, yeah. well, I, I don't have these connections. So I guess I'm fucked. It was like what yeah. I thought at the time. 100%. But no, it was in reality, you can go talk to a stranger, strike up a conversation and actually get to know them. And yep. then you have that connection. And like, to me, once I actually, as obvious as that sounds, learning that for the first time, I was like, damn, floodgates are open. I can go <laughs> talk to girls at my university. I can go up to chicks at the club. I can build social circles and then leverage that to increase my social value when I'm in the club. Blah, blah, blah. And then from there, I started to, you know, really get into it. And I don't know, I spent like a year straight just trying to maximize and get to what I felt was like a high quality dating life and get all my approach anxiety out of my out of my head, be able to go up to chicks on a whim um, 
And that was like hugely impactful, not only on my dating life, but in addition to that, it translated so directly into job interviews, into yep. business presentations, like all of these things that were massively impactful on my overall communication skills, that it's something that, I don't know, like I really value that time in my life. And I'm yeah, game is super important. It's gonna have residual mega benefits in other areas of your life, you know, with your job, you'll carry yourself better. You'll have more respect from your friends and from your family and from your coworkers. Okay, you'll get promoted more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Becoming confident and becoming good with women, especially good with hot women, okay, is going to just radically upgrade the whole rest of your life. Okay, that's why it's the most important thing. Really glad I went through the ringer on it because otherwise I would not be where I'm in, where I'm at in my opinion. Well, right. I'll say this real quick, dude, because he still looks fucking terrified and like he's going to shit his pants. I'm sure he was probably much more shy before, but he still you, looks you, like, you know, despite all the fucking overcompensating in the gym, he looks fucking terrified. <laughs> That's on a lot of great points there, and I didn't want to stop you. Um, what you were mentioning before about like social, right? Like, like, oh, having friend groups or whatever. That's how most normal guys meet their girlfriend or meet some kind of female counterpart is through social circle game. Thanks, Myron. Start calling him moron, moron gains. Most guys don't have the balls or the knowledge, quite frankly, to consistently cold approach and do it in a fashion where it's productive and actually meet girls and close it and take it to, you know, sex. A lot of guys don't even have that skill, you know, and people might make fun and be like, oh, all you guys are for you PUA fucking incels, losers, red pill guys, whatever it may be. But no, it's it, when you because when a lot of guys find this kind of content typically through some kind of trauma and then they go on the Internet looking for answers like, holy shit, you're telling me that I can go out and talk to girls that I don't even know and just cold approach. And like the answer is, yeah, but a lot of guys don't even think that that's possible because we're indoctrinated to think a lot of the times like, yo, just use social circle, make friends in school. And that's good enough. But it's like you're, you're never going to meet a, a wider demographic of people if you don't put yourself out there and cold approach and um keep in mind guys myron everyone saw with like anna quinn for instance he's trying to proposition his guests for sex okay he's just trying to basically use his position of power okay to try to get him access to sleeping with girls because he has zero game he has zero fucking confidence and charisma okay he's just a little fucking dork behind the camera that thinks he him and walter like are the next best thing okay they're huge fucking losers. Any person with half a brain can see that. They've been exposed countless times. They're no different than other, uh, any other fucking mega scammer on the internet. And more plates, more dates, I'm sure, knows that. But it's more views on his, on his content. Again, I would never sell out in a million years and associate with, with a known scammer. Okay, many others would. And fucking shame on them for that. You have all the old school stuff. So what would you say nowadays is dated and like no longer works in the con con uh, contemporary sexual marketplace? Uh, what doesn't work and what still works in your opinion? Um, so it's interesting because when I was first getting into it, I think Tinder got introduced maybe like two years after I started or a year after. Like when oh, yeah, I first got in the game like 2010, right? Yeah. So like when I started, it was like plenty of fish. OK, Cupid were seen as like supplements to your <laughs> to your cold approach. So it'd be like it'd be like uh, the majority of your of your opportunities would come through cold approach or like like in general plenty of fish in okay cupid depending on where you lived there might have been like some population density that'd be in your favor but it was highly dependent on where you lived of course but yes. at the time it was like a supplementary you know way to meet chicks too that actually at the time was like at the time those were like the go-to places for online dating as yeah ridiculous as it sounds but um over the years, it's definitely leaned far more towards online presence and your ability to attract via your high quality pictures, lead to set up a date and get a chick out, um, being efficient, blah, blah, blah. I think cold approach is massively impactful still though from like a social development aspect. So I think you should always have the ability. I don't think you should ever rely entirely on online dating until you've actually gotten to a point where your approach anxiety is like zero because you actually are capable of if you see a cute chick at the grocery store, you have the balls. Yeah, that, and that's actually a good point. There's a lot of fuckers in the modern day that are just online game heroes. They have no balls to approach a stranger in public. They crumble. Okay, Mastering cold approach is going to make dates easier. It's going to make your online interactions easier. Okay? It's going to make putting them on rotation easier, and the way you carry yourself easier. There's no substitute besides putting in the blood, sweat, and tears on cold approach if you want to really hone in your calibration, build thick skin, develop 
how you carry yourself, etc. Okay, that will fucking mold you and sculpt you as you get put through the fire. Yep. Like, I don't I don't think anyone should ever get away from the fact that that's important. However, I think from a time efficiency standpoint, online dating is like disproportionately the move now. Yeah. And having a good social profile, I think is way more important than it used to be. Like Instagram, no one gave a fuck about it when I was first starting this stuff. Um, I think it's important to have a good one now. I think uh, your online dating profile is mm. like so, so <laughs> important. Having a high quality camera, going out of your way to get pictures, yeah, the first week of my week program, we have guys get a professional photo shoot. We have a team of hot girls that picks the top five. We apply aesthetic upgrades on those. And then you now are getting a massive increase in your quantity and quality of matches. Okay. But in the interest of time here, this just goes on and on <laughs> in Myron's face. Uh, we will wrap up. Again, it's, it's so sad to see these guys that are, you know, collaborating with Fresh and Fit. And then you peel behind the covers. Okay, and they're friends with a whole bunch of other scammers or they're involved in other scam shit. To me, it's like a very good indication that they're a mega scammer if they go on the Fresh and Fit show. Okay, I, someone said in the comments that more plates, more dates is peddling scam supplements. Okay, and you look at any of these other motherfuckers that go on that show have a whole scammy, shady past most of the time. Okay, and have no qualms with not only promoting, but also endorsing scammers. That's sad, that's, but that's our world. Okay, people give more of a shit about views and about getting money than they do about integrity and honor. Even though they'll tell you all day how you should be full of integrity and honor. Hypocritical as fuck, lame as fuck. Okay, money doesn't change that shit. Having a bunch of money doesn't change that shit. Okay, you're being strong or dressing nice. Okay, it's still fucking laughable and extremely fucking beta. Okay, so get on a free 30 minute call. Uh, we will solve this problem for you very quickly. It will be a permanent lifetime solution. Okay, you will pack your schedule out full of dates by week two or three of the program. Okay, so don't delay getting on one of those calls. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Email me more videos to react to and infields to break down at john at johnanthonylifestyle.com. And I will see you all on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores, I put numbers up on the boards I'm in a section with models and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon My dick smell like two chicks before noon